So, um, this is the part two of the showcase of my Trooper Lego robot. If you haven't seen that, then uh, go watch it before you watch this. Um, so I said I'd show you the different ways in it, which it's customizable. And I'll start with the wrist mounted items. So the first of which is this, which is kind of like a little holographic screen where it can send and relay messages, receive information, all kinds of things with the other troopers, symbol communication. Then also for communication is a um, little walkie talkie it can use to uh, talk with the other soldiers, talk to the um, commander or whatever. There's, um, this is a suit for an actual human. It's not its own independent robot. And then final one is, uh, it's a bit fragile. Sometimes the limbs come off. Uh, this, which is quite a large uh, shield used for, it could deflect probably most uh, regular bullets, but it's not super strong. This is just the uh, the trooper. Then uh, the various respirators for different conditions. I think this one would be a standard one. So this is what it would uh, normally be wearing. Then bit hard to remove Just fix it back up um, this respirator would be for high altitude so in the mountains or in the air coming off a drop ship or something then um, I imagine this would be for uh, poison poisonous kind of toxic areas and the last one this one, it's more of kind of an oxygen tank type thing, would be to breathe underwater. And it does need defence against all these kind of chemical dangers because it is, it's a regular human underneath all this metal. Um, then we'll move on to the weapons, which hold in this hand. First of all, we got this, which is a harpoon gun. Uh, rocket powered, very strong. You can see the chain attaching the harpoon to the gun so we can reel it back then we have um this kind of dual machete blade type thing useful jungle environments melee combat maybe against dangerous creatures this is a um quite a heavy shotgun and it's got um, an extra little feature which is that just get this. You can load in um, a magazine of ammo like this. As you can see you can hold the um, the loaded gun. Here's a very simple uh, uh, pistol, harpoon pistol, whatever. And um, the magazine of this, there's another gun that uses the same. It's, um, I imagine this is an assault rifle, it's just got the scope and energy thing. It's energy based, so it shoots um, lasers instead of regular bullets. So this would be um, the default weapon. It's quite useful, pretty good. Then finally, we move on to the back accessories, which is the last section in which it is customizable. Um, so here, it's just a simple flag. It, this wouldn't be the normal flag. It would bear different flags depending on what faction it comes from or whatever. Um, here we have a power generator. I imagine this would be to keep the suit going on really long treks if it's going on long distances. Just remove it. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain to put on and remove things from this because um, this is kind of consistent with most of my builds as it's not super sturdy. Uh, then you have this, which is for storage. So you see it's got like vault lock thingy. Um, just to keep it safe and this is if maybe it goes on long treks again could have supplies or just hold weapons or valuable items this is a bit the same thing but it's much larger so it can store more items and it's a lot more high security high tech um, advanced security you need a password to open it this is an oxygen tank tank which would go with the um, oxygen breather from underwater underwater breather from earlier in this video uh just keep it alive for longer underwater 
Finally, we have the coolest one, which is uh, a jetpack. So I'd use this to you know, use this to fly around the battlefield or for maybe for mobility while traveling. And uh, yeah.